First question is from Mindful Fuel. What exercises do you recommend for women who want to build lean, long, but not bulky legs, but also want to grow the glutes? Okay. Um, all right. So a couple things here. Lean, long. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so what you want... <laughs> Nothing you're going to do is going to get them longer. Yeah. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> you can hang upside down, you can stretch them out, yeah, it's not going to happen. So here's, happen. so here's the deal. So here's what you're looking for. What you want is you want to be lean, but you also want to have muscle. So, And I'm basing that off of what you're telling me. The bulky comment, uh, very, very few people build enough muscle to really have massive uh, legs, uh, even women, okay? Yeah. Usually what it is, is they're just not lean. So mm -hmm. because they're not lean, and remember, body fat takes up more space per pound than muscle does. So if you, you know, 10 pounds of fat would take up something like 30% more space than 10 pounds of muscle. The fact that you said you want to grow your glutes and you want long, lean muscle, that tells me you want to have sculpted legs. So what you need to do, and this sounds kind of crazy, but it's not. If you want to get to that point, the fastest way to do it is to follow a workout that builds muscle the fastest while simultaneously eating in a way that promotes you to, to burn body fat. So you want to get mm -hmm. lean, but you also want to try to build muscle while you're doing this. Um, exercises to focus on, the ones that we talk about all the time, right? Your, your barbell squats, your lunges, get stronger at them. You want to do your stiff-legged deadlifts or your Romanian split stance squats. Those are phenomenal exercises. Hip thrusts for your glutes. If you want to follow a program uh, that'll do this, MAPS Anabolic is excellent. Um, a MAPS Aesthetic if you're a little bit more advanced. But based off of these comments, I mean, what you're really saying, because this is what you do as a trainer. Once you start training people for a while and you figure things out, they'll say a bunch of words and you'll actually read the, okay, what I need to do as a trainer. And what the trainer would know, someone who's good, would say, this person needs to build muscle and get leaner. The only thing you didn't touch on that could be a possibility too, is and very common, is uh, somebody who feels this way because they're very quad dominant um, and they, they don't seem to grow their butt as, as in, uh, equal to as, as much as they grow their legs. So they feel like, man, I, I do all these exercises that Sal just said, the Bulgarian you know, split squats, the lunges, the squats, the deadlifts, and, and I just feel like my legs blow up and they get bulky and my butt doesn't grow uh, uh, in, in comparison to the, your quads. And so if that's the case, it, that's addressing the recruitment patterns and how your body's actually if using your glutes. So there's a good chance that when you go to do a squat, you go to do a lunge, you feel most of it in your legs and very little bit in your butt. And if that's the case, then spending the time to prime your glutes. And if that's the case, the exercises that I would lean towards are things like sumo uh, deadlifts and hip thrust and Romanian deadlifts. Mm. Those are uh, a little bit easier to take the quads out of the movement, right? So you're going to see, you're going to feel very little of your quads doing a, a sumo deadlift, or you're going to feel very little of your quads when you're doing a hip thrust mm -hmm. or a Romanian deadlift. And so if you're somebody who's very quad dominant, uh, obviously fixing the recruitment pattern by priming more and trying to get the glutes to really fire properly, which we have stuff for all that. We have a good glute builder program. We've got free guides and content. We've got free stuff on YouTube to help you in that direction. I would look towards that, and then exercises that I would be focusing on are the three that I just said. Yeah, I think too. This is just feeding a lot to the myth uh, that uh, you'll you'll see people doing like heavy backloaded squats or heavy deadlifts, and um, worried like a lot of women are worried it's going to make them bulky and like look like a football player. And I had to have to you know talk talk that out of a lot of clients' uh, minds going into it. And unless you have like insano bodybuilding genetics, uh, it's really going to be difficult for you to put muscle mass on uh, like you've seen in terms of like a, a bodybuilder lady that has like insano legs. Yeah. And, and even if you did, it still doesn't happen overnight. I've never no. met anybody that did squats. Years and years. Yeah. And then the next day they woke up and they're like, damn yeah. it, Sally, I told you, yeah. now I'm massive. Doesn't it doesn't yeah, work just that focus way? Focus on getting lean, like salsa. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. It doesn't it doesn't work that way. Here, here's another. You know, Adam makes great points about focusing on the posterior chain, the glutes and the hamstrings. I've never, I have met maybe one or two women that did build legs very very quickly. It's super rare, but I did meet a couple. Never met a woman whose hamstrings built too much. Right. Those oh, tend yeah. to not. Those tend to not. You know, yeah. be muscles that bulk up a lot. So you could start your workouts out. That's how I try. So there this is. Go. I've actually dealt with this quite a bit. I think at one point. Um, the, I got kind of known as somebody to help people uh, with this situation. So I think I obviously it, I probably attracted more than the usual as a trainer you'd come across. 
And that was like my go-to. Those those three moves, focusing on the posterior chain when somebody's quad dominant is a great surefire way to make sure that their quads don't overdevelop and it puts so much energy and focus on the backside. And like you said, I've never met anybody that's like, oh, my hamstrings just get overdeveloped and they're just too big. You know, yeah, like I don't think I've ever heard that. No, it's normally someone's quad dominant and their and their quads do blow up. And I have met uh, several women that have like I and I think they look great, but I mean I get it. I get when they don't like that their quads are so big and then they mm. have a butt that doesn't seem to match the size of their quads. And then because all the exercises their quads are taking over the movement. So we I just pull out a lot of the quad type exercises. So I don't like to leg press, lunge, hack squat. I don't want to do any of that with it, this lady. I want to do things that are more posterior chain related, um, but still get a little bit of development there, but focused on the hamstrings and glutes. Mm. 